Good morning, it's December 13th, 2021, and you're looking at a still shot of WJHL's news website. They produce both video and static content. And this is regarding the Summer Wells case, as you might expect. Uh, what you're about to see is both happy news and dismaying news. So let's get started. Front page of their site, search for Summer Wells, social media slews flock to Hawkins County. And it was produced 12 hours ago. What I want you to be aware of, produced seven hours ago, is not front page. The Summer Wells Reward Fund reaches nearly $74,000. This should be front page news in this local news outlet. But as you can see, it's not. And that's disheartening. Hawkins County, Tennessee, WJHL, the reward fund for missing Hawkins County five-year-old Summer Wells has increased to almost $74,000. And then as you could see, before... I even scrolled, which I actually didn't, uh, there's that insert to direct you back to the front page where a massively prominent article on YouTubers is featured. Way down at the bottom of the article in extremely fine print is this list from Churchill Rescue. They are the um, overseeing body for the Summer Wells Reward Fund. Uh, WJHL finally published a list of donors. And I know you can't see that, but I've got you covered. So just to show you where we started and where we are to date, the first two donations were large checks, but you'll note that they're being held by individuals. The next donation is worthy of mention because it was six days later and it was made by a college student. $2,000 by a college student. There's another donation in there, I think of $2,000 and maybe one that's like 500. All the rest are what you would expect. Smaller donations, $100, uh, you know, $25 right above ours might have been one of our people who withdrew their money because other YouTubers created such controversy ahead of us actually being able to process the money and send it out. And then you see on 1025, to Carlock, who was the, you know, de facto CFO for all the money collected, she cut a check from her merchandise line that was dedicated to Summer Wells on 1025, 2021 for... $17,179.85. That total was from every piece of merchandise in her store, not just the Summer Wells collection um, that we bought in, it, it was supposed to be a week marathon ending on the um, vigil down at Warriors Path Park. She extended it a couple of days because the firestorm that was created and the accusations that were levied um, made some of our donors from the public withdraw their donations. The next two represent money that was held as a business practice by PayPal in the amount of $12,281.07 and the final YouTube super chats from a couple of different channels. YouTube does not pay super chats out until the following month on the 21st. So on 11 2021, a final deposit was sent to Churchill Rescue Squad's fund. And that was in the amount of $2,722.42, bringing the grand total of the Summer Wells Reward Fund to $73,705.90.
If you're an accountant or a bookkeeper or a CFO, you already know what kind of time and care went into making sure every penny got where it was supposed to go to Civis Bank in care of the Churchill Rescue Squad Summer Wells Reward Fund. But here's a fun fact. The public donations from the marathon, which was 10 days, were $32,233.34. The total Summer Wells Reward Fund to date is $73,705.90. The public raised 43.73% of the total reward fund for Summer Wells to date. This was a combined effort of four main channels over 10 days, plus I think two or maybe three other channels who also stepped up and hosted a few hours in that 10-day period. And then on top of that, all the subscribers from all those channels who felt inclined or motivated also promoted in their social media the marathon to raise the reward fund for Summer Wells. Just for fun and to keep my promise, we're going to do a different outro today. This is what I said on October 18th, 2021. At least five I can think of off the top of my head go from zero to a thousand sub subscribers, which is what you need to go live in two weeks and a few more in a month. Let that sink in and then tell me that the marathon effort to raise money to increase the reward fund for Summer Wells and the money that was raised to put up a billboard which has not been up for three and a half months to get her face out there and get people talking about her. Uh, tell me that's not a worthwhile effort. If by some wicked evil twist of fate those funds that were raised by the marathon effort don't get deposited you can call me a fool. By all means, I'll take the filter off of my comment section and you can have a field day and I accept that. But because we tried very hard to come together in the spirit of unity for two weeks to help this little girl, I believe that the God I serve smiled on that effort. And that's all I have to say on that, con on that topic. So in closing, thank you to my subscribers, you quiet, lovely people who never cause me trouble. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much for not bailing on this tiny little channel, even though I haven't given you the content you're here for in four months. I appreciate you so much. God bless you. And I'll see you real soon.